Welcome back, strangers and strangelings, to another very compassionate and compelling episode of The Strange Cage. I'm your host, Kate Strange. 40 subscribers, guys. I'd like to thank my 40th subscriber, Joshua Higgins. Thanks, man. Keep it strange. Strangers, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell of flagellants so you can smell all my gas the moment I let it go. Oh, somebody stepping a duck. <laughs> As the thumbnail suggests, there's been quite an advancement in the story here about Enola. Nick and Dan, the actors who played the CEOs of Enola, just posted a video. Let's take a look. Hi to everyone that's contacted us with regards to Enola. I'm Nick. And my name is Dan. We thought we'd send a message to those who've contacted us and those who are still wanting to do so. So I have to stop right there. Those who have been wanting to do so, they turned off their comments. So if they're trying to have people get a hold of them and then they turn all their accounts private, uh, that really doesn't help. Some of you have been really supportive about what's happened and others less so. And we can totally understand that. Hopefully he's not talking about the strange. Embrace it. We have a saying out here in Hollywood. Bad press is good press. As you may or may not be aware, we were hired as actors for a film production company and we were reading from a teleprompter that was just off of camera. We were told, and we are agreement with that company. Here we go again with the company. Who was the production company who hired this? Who signed your checks? Was that we, these videos would be for internal use only, used as training videos and would not be made public at all. What was the training? There was no training in the video. You were just saying you were CEOs of a company and you were talking about all of the technology of the company. Did you really believe you were doing training while you were working on it? I really want to know. But as always, as actors, we don't always have control over what happens to that content once it's been filmed. The production company had an agreement with an old that was passed to us that clearly stated that these would be only used for internal purposes only and not for public usage. When they went public against our wishes, we reported them immediately for violation of copyright use. Okay, so I'd really like to know who you reported them to, because you only mentioned it on LinkedIn, from what we can see. And it was just an at LinkedIn. You, you think they saw that? What more do I need to do? Um, the videos were playing on YouTube and Vimeo. You didn't try to have them pulled down there. You, you're claiming copyright on me. On this video that I made about you that I used everything from your public profiles and stuff that you publicly had displayed. So, I'm sorry Nick, I will not remove it, and I'm sorry if I was a little mean, but understand I lost about 20 pounds. Look at me, I'm a big fat slob! 20,000 pounds, in your terms of money. We had no prior knowledge of the company or its website. We had no idea how successful or unsuccessful their product was, nor do we have any idea about cryptocurrency trading or Bitcoin or how that works. Well, that's music to my ears, Dan. <laughs> I'd love to show you how you could take just a small percent of your income and invest it every week, not just in cryptocurrency, but in great companies, and you'll see fantastic returns. Why don't the two of you like and subscribe? I'd be happy to have you. We'd all be happy to have you. Isn't that right, strangers? This episode of The Strange Cage is not brought to you by... Barons! Learn something cool on paper! Everyone involved in the production of these videos acted in good faith and had no idea of the intentions of Enola. So I want to ask, everyone was working for a company called Enola, were you paid by Enola or were you paid by the production company? because whoever was producing the production took a check from the scammers at Enola. And did your agent find you this gig? Or were you just looking on Craigslist? We've been advised that you should make a formal complaint to the authorities and we'll be more than happy to do the same too. So does that mean that you are gonna alert the authorities? Can you let us know when you're gonna alert the authorities? I'm asking you to alert the authorities. If he's saying that he wants people in on this, he needs to alert the authorities, don't you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. For data protection purposes, we're unable to speak to people directly about this. For data protection purposes? What does that even mean? I mean, you guys can be our saviors. 
You're the first step in some kind of a breakdown of who these people are. And it starts with you and the studio. And who paid you? And where did you find the job? So that we can get to the bottom of this. So that you can help all of us who lost our money to a good looking website and a fake beard. Help us stick it exactly where Enola deserves it. I'm back! Strangers, if you enjoyed this content, please be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I really want to know your opinion. I'll read all your comments. Until next time, this is Cage Strange saying, if you can't be good, be strange, baby. Peace.